You might not realize it, but life is quickly running by, and by the end of today's video, you'll figure out just how far in your journey you've come. Watch until the end to find out how to make sure that what lies ahead of you will be better than what lies behind you. Hello, Aluxers. We are incredibly excited to have you back for this Sunday video, and you'll be pleased to see already from the title we're going back to 15 things instead of 10. You were very vocal about it, so we listened. When it comes to the life you wish to live, there's only one mantra we believe. Make sure you don't waste it. With this philosophy in mind, let's have a look at the 15 most important milestones in life. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. Your Birth you might not realize it, but the sheer chance of you being born is quite astounding. Let's break it down. The probability of your parents meeting. That's roughly 1 in 20,000. Someone on the Forever Alone subreddit actually did the math. Multiply that by the chance of those two ending up having sex, and we are already in the millions. Now, we don't want to get too biological, but believe it or not, you were the fastest sperm that night. Maybe it was the candlelights or the wine they had, but somehow it was you who beat all the other sperm. You're already a winner. Some might call you a miracle. You survived childbirth, you grew up, entered the world, and now here you are, watching videos on YouTube. We know that with a population of almost 8 billion people, there are plenty of other miracles running around. But you're not racing against them. They just happen to be running their own races. You already have the first milestone checked off. Now let's see how far you've come. Number 2. Figuring out what excites you in life Believe it or not, this is something you know quite early in life, but most people forget it as they grow up and struggle to fit in. Remember the feeling you had when you were spending the entire day playing and enjoying yourself? Remember how time passed? Remember how exciting it all was and how you could spend hours learning and doing new things that you discovered and loved? This feeling ends up being lost in the process, mostly through traditional education. Creativity falls to the wayside and replaced with standardized mediocrity with a focus on who can remember more things, ironically in a society that no longer needs to remember information at the top of their heads. When you look around and identify someone who's doing exactly what they wanted to do and crushing it, don't you feel jealous? Don't you wish that was you? Their success stems from not allowing their creativity to be traded in for a mediocre experience. In the words of Ursula Le Guin, the creative adult is the child who survived, and we are all creative when it comes to the things that excite us in life. Number 3. Your first money earned We don't know about you, but this was a big milestone for us. The first time somebody was willing to pay money in exchange for our time was the moment everything changed. We had our first stepping stone in our financial journey. Although it was pennies compared to how much we earn today, it set an initial valuation for our time. In the same way, May 22nd, 2010, Pizza Day set the initial valuation for Bitcoin. The first time you get paid, no matter the amount, is the day the marketplace recognizes the fact that you are valuable. To this day, we still carry in our wallet a dollar from the first paycheck we ever received as a reminder of where we started. The beauty of this milestone is it has the power to let you know what awaits in the future. You simply simulate the future with your current marketplace value and see where this road takes you. If it doesn't lead to where you want to be at, you gotta get to work and make some changes. Maybe we shouldn't include this here as we feel it might go on a tangent, but it's our channel and you're our community. You're probably wondering how you can increase your value to the marketplace, and here are your options. 1. Serve more people. The more people you're able to reach and monetize, the more value you can draw from the marketplace. 2. Increase quality and specialize. This allows you to charge more for your expertise and time. 3. Automatize. Basically, build the machine that does what you're currently doing so you can free up time to grow. And 4. Creativity. Stand out through a valuable differentiator. The word valuable is key here. Through time, we've learned to leverage all of these to exponentially increase our earning power. The only thing you should be scared of when it comes to making money is having a ceiling to how much you can earn. Number 4. Being on your own. Something changes in you when you are alone for the first time and realize that you're actually self-sufficient. 
Cooking for yourself, paying rent, washing, cleaning, and setting your own schedule are all rather simple tasks that mature you as an individual. The first time you realize you're actually self-sufficient, your life changes, your learning accelerates, and your dependency on other people loosens. Being on your own and doing okay is freeing and exhilarating, but don't fall into the trap of being alone until you become lonely. Being alone isn't the problem, being lonely is. Number five, finding a partner. Probably one of the biggest milestones in an individual's life is when they find that person they plan on spending the rest of their life with. We know some of you might be thinking that you don't need someone else to make you whole, and we agree with that. But this person will bring more happiness, memories, and excitement into your life than you could ever do on your own. Trust us, when you meet them, you'll know. Life just gets better and better over time. We've always been skeptical of people who say, I love you just as much as I did that first day, because that's not how love actually works. Love, when done right, is continuously growing and developing. If years go by and you still love them the same, your relationship is stuck. Relationships are complicated, but being with the right person not only feels right, but it makes the complicated bits more bearable and easier to overcome. When you think about it, renowned Russian writer Leo Tolstoy was right. All happy families resemble each other, while unhappy families are unhappy in their own way. If you do it right, it's never you against your partner, but you two together against the problem. No matter what your stance on marriage is, there comes a point when the relationship matures enough to start a family, and a family is one of the most important and difficult things you'll build in your life. It requires commitment, collaboration, foresight, and patience. This on top of all of the fun and exciting bits. In Hawaii, there's a term called ohana, which means family. But to quote Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. A family brings exactly that into your life, support and remembrance. Both are two of the most valuable things you'll ever seek to find in life. Also, can we get a like on this video for quoting both Tolstoy and Stitch in the same point on the list? We're kind of killing it here. Number six, buying your first home. To expand on the building a family point and your general journey through life, a big milestone is when you finally purchase your first property, usually your first home. We remember quite vividly the feeling we had when we touched the walls and realized that we own a roof over our head, that no matter what happens in life, we have a place to sleep, even if in the first few days it was on an air mattress. You know, the kind you inflate with a foot pump. Hey, don't give us that look, we know at least some of you can relate. Buying your first home is such a massive stepping stone because it puts things into perspective. You now have a safety net. Life should never be worse than it is right now. The fact you got it is exhilarating. It gets your blood flowing just a bit quicker. Even better, if you did it once, you can do it again. We did it again and again and never stopped since. Real estate can be your ticket to freedom. The more properties you own, the less likely you are to ever go broke. And because we started from nothing, we know what that's like and we never plan on going back. The moment you buy your first home, you free yourself from the chains of paying rent. Number seven, the moment you figure out what it takes to win. In every entrepreneur's journey, there will be highs and lows, hardships and small wins, but somewhere in your journey after many, many years, something clicks. You've learned enough, you've positioned yourself properly, you're no longer naive when it comes to expectations, and things start going well, really well. There's a level of predictability in your performance, your earning power. You can begin to see one, two, three steps ahead. You figure out how to connect dots other people are missing and you hit those goals one after another. At this very moment, you feel like you're on top of the world. Maybe for the first real time in your life, you feel like you're winning, that all the hard work is beginning to pay off and all those people were wrong about you. This is when you want to play it smart, be strategic and don't lose your grip on the handles. If you don't screw this up, almost everything you want from life is up for grabs. Some of you might have experienced this already, while for others, this milestone is somewhere on the horizon. Personally, we've never left this to luck, because luck isn't a long-term strategy. Better yet, it's not even a short-term strategy, so we don't like to mess with it at all. 
we broke everything down in Goal Mastery, the premium course we were supposed to release by now, but because we're such perfectionists when it comes to the quality of our paid products, we challenged ourselves to find ways to improve the value by at least 20%. With corona affecting all of our lives, the post-production process has been postponed. Our promise is you'll be able to purchase it sometime in the next couple of months. As always, if you want to make sure you hear about the release first, be sure to join our waiting list at alux.com slash goals. Number 8. Your First Child Many have asked what the meaning of life is, why we are all here. We would be bullshitting you if we said we had the answer. The best one we can provide is, the meaning of life is figuring out the meaning of your life. Did you like how we turned that back on you? Putting the philosophical aspects aside, there is a biological reason why you're alive and it's been coded into your DNA for millennia. Procreation. Now everyone is free to decide for themselves whether or not they want children of their own. But something big happens to you as an individual when your first child is born. You transcend from this position of an individual into the role of a parental figure. You are now responsible for making this new blob of pure potential evolve and develop into an individual that will leave the world better than they found it. Your role now becomes that of a protector and the carrier of light. Your responsibility is sharing with this child everything you've learned and spark enough curiosity for them to be more than you were able to be. If we started from scratch, our children will not have to go through the same hurdles that we did. They will need different tools than we needed because the environment has changed because we worked our butts off to change it. Their problems will be different than the problems that you faced growing up, thus forcing you to adapt. Having your first child is such a life-changing milestone for everyone, which is why we've worked so hard developing New Parents, a parenting channel that's meant to provide guidance for the parents of tomorrow. A special thanks to everyone who last week subscribed to the channel, and for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, go to alux.com slash new parents, or click in the top right corner to find out for yourself. Number 9. The moment you realize you have more years behind you than ahead of you. The United Nations puts life expectancy at 72.6 years for someone born in 2019, but this is on a global level. If you're lucky to live in a more developed society and with the progress of medicine, statistically you'll probably die around the age of 87. Who knows, maybe we'll have a breakthrough and we all get to live longer, but we like to act based on reality. That means the halfway mark in your life is around 44 years old. It just so happens that's when the male body has a last chemical hurrah in the hopes of creating another offspring. A chemical imbalance, which leads to what is more commonly known as a midlife crisis, but we got sidetracked a bit. We're going to refer back to Confucius for this one who put it perfectly. We have two lives, and the second begins when we realize we only have one. Many people quit too early. They think they've peaked too early, but that's not true. The time you have ahead of you is yours to do with as you please. So do just that. Number 10. Retirement or Financial Freedom Retirement has such a negative connotation these days. In common culture, it's seen as you're done. Your time is over. Society has moved beyond you, so just take a back seat and watch us do everything you wish you could still be doing. Retirement for most people means that you're old, maybe sick, in most parts of the world, struggling to get by on a pension that's barely enough to survive. For us, retirement means the exact opposite. It means that we have officially worked enough so that we do not have to work, but choose to. Believe it or not, as humans, we love work. We love working with a purpose. We hate doing it because we have to, that someone makes us do it, that we're constrained by bills to trade our time for survival. For us, the Aluxers, retirement or better said financial freedom is about not having to worry about any of these. The most simple formula to determine just how much you need to retire is to earn from passive investments such as rent, royalties, dividends, and so on, twice the amount you need to maintain your current lifestyle. Financial freedom equals two times the monthly expenses. As of making this video, $10,000 per month in passive income is more than enough to live almost anywhere in the world a decent lifestyle. 
For some of you, that amount would be lower, but for some of you, maybe even a little more would be needed. Let's do a thought experiment for now. If starting tomorrow, every single month, you receive $10,000 in your account, would you still work for your current job? What would you do with your time? Disregard immediate rational tasks like paying your debts, fixing your car, basically filling the immediate gaps in your existence. But what would your life be like if you didn't have to worry about money? Wouldn't that be amazing? That is why achieving this milestone is so important in life. It might take you 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years to get it done, but everyone should do their best to try and get there. It's a shame to go through life struggling financially and then die. Number 11. Finding your state of happiness. A big milestone in life is when you finally figure yourself out and how to be in the state of happiness. Don't confuse this point with the one we made at number two, as you should never confuse the fleeting feeling of happiness with the state of happiness. The two premises you should be aware of are one, everyone can be happy. There's nothing keeping anyone from achieving a state of happiness. And two, if you're smart, you should be able to solve the problem of happiness in your life. This doesn't mean you're always walking around with a creepy smile like Freaky Fred from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Some episodes still haunt us to this day, but instead take sadness for what it is, a part of life. Allow it to enter and leave your life accordingly and then get back to your own self. So what is this state of happiness? Happiness is when you're at peace, when there are no fires burning in your life that you need to put out, when tomorrow is predictable is a way that puts your mind at ease, when your desires are no longer pushing on you the feeling that you don't have enough or that you'll only be happy if you get this particular thing done or achieve this particular goal. Happiness is when your reality matches your expectations of what reality should be like. Number 12. Losing Your Parents there are very few things that will smash reality into oneself more than the death of your parents. Your world will begin crumbling down because they were the pillars on which your entire childhood stood. With them, a part of you also goes away. You become the oldest living member of your bloodline. Generations before you went away, and soon, so will you. With them gone, you're forced to face the idea of temporality, that time forgives no one, and that you are next. Many of you dream of luxury cars, big homes, the adulation of others, with just as many of you feeling lost for these material goals might be out of one's reach, leaving you questioning yourself and your place here. If I can't have the riches and fame I desire, what purpose is there for me here? But here's a purpose for you. Be the person your family can rely on at your father's funeral. Be the person your family can rely on when hardships come your way. People are so scared of this event and how it will expose their insecurities, so they bury it somewhere in the back of their mind and let their future self deal with it. But here's the catch. You can't build the ship the day the flood comes. Number 13. Your children moving on with their lives. Speaking of big milestones that force you to reevaluate what you know about yourself, there will come a day when, hopefully, you would have raised strong enough children they're able to go out into the world and thrive on their own. For at least two decades, your priority has been caring for these children. They changed your role in society. They changed the way you behave, the way you see the world, and now they're gone. Many adults, in the process of being parents, lose their individual identities. They identify as parents instead of individuals with dreams, pleasures, desires, and what have you. Almost all of them have a hard time going back to being something other than parents. This particular milestone opens the door to the third act of your life, one of reevaluation, of rediscovery, and for new opportunities of growth. You can rediscover your passions, reignite your love, pursue new hobbies, and indulge yourself in the beauty of the world. Number 14. Realizing the world has changed. There comes a point in everyone's journey where reality smacks you in the face with change. The world you grew up in is no longer the world of today. Every evolving society embraces change, and so does every smart individual. It's shocking for most of us to see the abundance of older folks who seem so disconnected from what's happening today, holding on by the last tooth of their dental plaques to beliefs that are no longer acceptable. 
technology allows for the free flow of information. The moment you allow technology to move beyond you, you're missing out on this new information. This is why these people seem to be so out of the loop, because they genuinely are. No wonder your old auntie or uncle can't tell the difference between fact and fiction. They keep sharing the onion and those conspiracy articles on Facebook. When they were growing up, they had a single source of truth, the newspaper, and then later on, the two TV channels they used to watch. For them, whatever got into the paper or on the screen was irrefutable truth. Technology came along, and this is no longer the reality we're living in, but their programming didn't keep up with the change. Your goal with this milestone is to understand when this is happening, or even better, prolong it as much as you can. For if you can do that, life remains exciting, it changes, your beliefs get questioned, you evolve, you become what they like to call woke. Number 15. Your Death This is the last milestone of your life, might as well call it the finish line. One should always be aware of it, to know it might come sooner than you expect, but to not allow it to ruin the present with its glooming shadow. Death is a part of life, and although your brain can comprehend the data, the notion that death will come, we've always been fascinated by the brain's inability to truly accept that itself one day will be no more. Try it now if you want. One day, the voice you're hearing in the back of your head probably processing and repeating some of the things you're hearing will no longer be there. The brain cannot tolerate it, so it pretends it doesn't hear your request, very much like a dog who has no idea it peed on the carpet. But death should be embraced like an old friend, one you can't wait to tell all the amazing things you've gone through, all the achievements you have under your belt, all the stories about your children and your own life, and how the world is better off because for in this tiny speck of time, you were a part of it. There is beauty in the finality of things. It makes everything we do so much more important, which is why we're asking you Aluxers to live today instead of being alive. After this video, do something memorable. Make today just a bit more interesting. And if there is nothing that comes to mind, a glass of champagne always works for us. Which brings us to the question we are eager to ask. How many of these milestones have you achieved? And those of you who have lived a little, what value can you share with the community because of your past experiences? Let's learn from one another and use the comment section as a breeding ground for ideas and lessons. For those of you still watching, it wouldn't be a Sunday video without a secret bonus. Here it is. Legacy Beyond Death One of our favorite lyrics goes like this. They say you die twice. First when they bury you in the grave, and the second time is the last time somebody mentions your name. This is Macklemore's take on a quote by graphic artist Banksy. So there is another milestone beyond that of our own death. This milestone is called Legacy. How long will your impact be remembered by the living? How big of a dent did you put into the universe? These are deep questions that put things into perspective. You see, we give away fame to people who are sometimes undeserving and timelines right these wrongs. At the end of the day, we all know who Confucius, Einstein, Picasso, Tesla, Ford, and more recently Elon Musk are because their ideas, their work, live beyond their flesh and bone. History is kind to those who push humanity forward in any shape or form. Our humble ask of you Aluxers is to leave a legacy behind. Leave something positive the world will remember you by, in whatever way you can fathom. Do your work well, do it with pride, try to innovate, and because of your small actions today, everyone will benefit tomorrow. There's this Greek proverb that resonates with us so much, and it goes like this. A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. We want all of you to plant your own trees, and on behalf of our future children, we thank you for your act of kindness and dedication. If this made you think and want to be part of this movement of doing at least one thing that will have an impact on future generations, please write the word legacy next to today's answer. We can't wait to see how many of you are ready to join us in creating a tomorrow we can all be proud of. Let's go get it, Aluxers! Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.